What's up, everybody? It's your man, Jay Field. And look what just came in the mail. Yes, I think I should call you Spark Plug. Yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> Before we get into the video, let me first say welcome. If this is your first time, shout out your city, shout out your weapon of choice. If you are into beat making, please consider subscribing. Hit that notify bell. That way you are updated on each new content that I drop. So let's get back into the video. So I have to admit, I'm a little late to the game and that's because I had to wait so long. I remember when I first pre-ordered this in October of 2021 last year. Yes, I was hoping to get this in November, but I didn't. It's all good. It's here now. So if you're like me, you just getting this a little late. Hopefully this video will help you in some type of way. And uh, if it didn't come yet, just be patient like I was. It will arrive. So let's jump in. First thing you need to do, I'm letting you know right now, you want to update your SP404 MK2. Let me tell you, just trust me. Take my word for it. And we're going to go through this together, man. In order to do that, you also need an SD card. Get you a 32 gigabyte SD card, all right? And we're gonna format it. This is what I'm using. On the website, rolling.com slash global slash support. Gonna click on support and look to the left where it says updates and drivers. And then we're gonna find where it says SP because that is our device, SP404 MK2. Click on that. The updates and drivers click on this the first one version 1.15 that's what we want that's the latest version at the point of this video okay and it's going to give you instructions on what to do and then what the updates are they have like previous updates when you first get it it started on version 1.11 but that's lacking a lot of stuff you know what i'm saying so you need to get version 1.15 scroll down go ahead and download you hit agree and then download so once you get the zip you're going to unzip it and then you have this folder, SP404 MK2 System V115. And you have two files. Let's go ahead and format our disk. To format it, let's just go ahead and put this inside here. Turn it on. So once you insert your SD card, you're going to hit Shift and 14, Pad 14, right here. Bam. And then you're going to scroll down. You see this little menu? Scroll down to where it says Format SD Card and then press down on it. Are you sure? Okay, yes. So now you'll see this. Formatting is basically clearing the SD card so you'll be able to put stuff on it. Okay, so that's done. Turn the SP off and then we're gonna eject our SD card. And we're gonna put this inside our computer. So for me, I'm using a Mac Mini. Slide it in there. Now let's go to our computer screen. Once you download and unzip it, copy these two files, and then you're going to just put it up here onto the SD card. Just like that. Now what we're going to do is eject the SD card from the computer and put it back into the SP. Now it's very important, this next step. <laughs> After you insert the SD card back in there, you're going to hold down Shift and then turn it on. Shift and turn on. And now you see this update sure are you sure yes and now it's updating we doing this together guys <laughs> when it says update complete now you can turn it off and now what we want to do is take our disk back out and put it back into our computer and put some sounds in it this is our SD card what you're going to do is click on import right and then drag any sound that you want so i'm just going to take some field loops in here and i could do a lot more but you know just for the purposes of this video i just did that eject from the computer put it back into the sp now we could just turn it on like normal i forgot to tell y'all you want to check what the version is just to make sure you did it right hit shift 13 go to system press down and then you're gonna to scroll to the right where it says version, and now you see version 1.15. Exit out of this, boom. Let's start with a new project because you know, 
when you first get this device, it does come with sounds, but we want to use our own sound. So what we're going to do is create a new project. To do that, we're going to hit shift sub pad and just select a number. We'll just go to three and now everything is empty. So now let's import some sounds. This is the good part. So we'll hit shift 14 and now you see this drop down menu. We're going to import from SD card. Click down and then we want sample. And look at that. I have my folders. Field loop six. And then you have your subfolders. Let's go to drums. Click on that. And now if you want to just audition the sounds, just hold down sub pad. All right, let's pick that one and let's press a pad to put that on. So let's go to, I guess, just one. Put it there and enter, press down. There you go, man. Just imported your sound. Let's go to bank C and we're going to import another sound. Let's import some roads. So let's go to shift 14, import from SD card, sample. We'll do a rose loop. Let's choose that one. Press pad, I'll put it on uh, pad one, hit enter. Exit out of this. Cool. So now let's let's say we want to chop that up. What do you do, Jay? Let's, let's do something, man. Shift start. And then you could do a lazy chop if you wanted to. Or you could do this. Press the push enter auto mark I'll do eight divisions just to see what happens press enter and then hit OK so now it just divided it for me assign those to pads so you hit push down enter assign the pad BAM and then you're gonna mark all those pads that you want So I want those, press down, and now, notice they're all gated. You can ungate those if you wanted to, and all of them at the same time to hold down shift and gate. Only problem is they're overlapping, so that means you're going to have to put them in a mute group. Very easy. So you hit shift eight. And I'm going to put all of them on uh, mute group A. Just press them down, right? And then exit out. Man, that's so easy, right? <laughs> all right, so now let's go to our bank A, where the drums are. And that's gated. Let's actually break this up. Shift, start. And I'll show y'all the lazy chop. All right, cool. Push down enter, and we're going to assign to pads, and then just tap the pads. There you go. Enter chop, and let's ungate everything. And let's set another mute group, shift eight. And we're gonna use the dial to go to B. Cool, exit out. 
So let's go ahead and make a pattern, man. You know what I'm saying? We'll go to pattern mode, choose a pattern, record. Here is where you can set your grid and all that good stuff. Change the BPM, the length. Let's do let's do two bars just for simplicity, and then hit record. And if you want to rehearse, hit record again, and it won't record it. You just all right. Let's try that. Pretty swingy. <laughs> and then um, let's go to uh, our chords. Now I'm just doing the basic thing. I'm not getting too deep right now. I'm just doing something basic for you guys. So. I could reverse one of them. Or. Like that go ahead and copy that pattern to another pad bam hit copy so now I have the drums and then I'm gonna to go to this one pad two and throw in the roads record that rehearsal <laughs> Let's try that. Got that in there. So now we got two patterns. Drums. And then the drums with the chords. And then after that, of course, you got your effects, man. You could do all that stuff. I'm not going to get all deep into all that stuff, but. <laughs> so that's just a little introduction, man. So far, I'm digging it. I'm having fun. I'm still learning it, man. But hopefully, when you first get this thing, you can kind of follow along and, you know, learn as you go because that's what i'm doing to be honest with you there's tons of videos tons of tutorials but uh yeah man if there's any questions things specific things you want me to cover drop them down in the comments below it's your man jake so if you like this video hit that thumbs up button more videos on the way don't forget to subscribe check out all the links down below and i will see you guys on the next one i'm sending peace and positive energy